Uh, let's bring in Dan Wetzel, who uh, wrote a column, uh, Lance Armstrong's doping admission, questions Oprah should have asked. Let me start with the poll question there. How would you uh, weigh in on that, Dan, as far as what bothers you the most about Lance Armstrong? Give the options to Dan McLevin. Cheating, lying, or bullying accusers? My number one is bullying accusers, uh, without question. I think um, the we've seen all the athletes. We, you know, the doping is almost expected. I'm not forgiving it, but it's almost expected in cycling. The lying kind of comes along with it, but it was the way he defended himself and the way he attacked. You know, accusers isn't even a fair word. It's people telling the truth, <laughs> the truth tellers. Um, and not just, you know, in, in maybe slightly attacking him. It's, it's taking the, the woman, the Irish woman who's hired to be, to give massages after uh, bike after stages of the race by the U.S. Postal Team, and ends up being used as kind of a courier to to smuggle in some of the, the PEDs into various countries. She tells the truth. He sues her in a way where he has so much money and so much power that just fighting the lawsuit is worth more than she has. She cannot defend herself, and then she says he spreads. Rumors around cycling, she's a prostitute and a drunk and things like that, so she can't get work. That's just base behavior, trying to destroy somebody for doing nothing more than telling the absolute truth, and you know it's the truth. Those are the people that were really affected by Lance Armstrong. Um, the fellow cyclists, the fans, the other things, it just doesn't line up with that level of, uh, I think, really kind of incorrigible behavior. What does Lance Armstrong gain from doing this interview? Well, I guess he starts the process of, of going somewhere. I don't know. I, uh, you know, I'd be interested to see what the interview is. We'll see what Oprah asks. I, I, I would be concerned if I were him going to Oprah, if, if, if the questions that so many people want answered, both in detail about what happened and how things were done, very precise that the cycling community wants, these kind of questions I think the public wants, if those aren't answered, I don't think he gains a lot. I think there'll be a lot of backlash that the interview wasn't what he what what the, what the public is demanding. Um, if I were him, I would have said, "Look, I'm in, I'm I'm done here. I'm just going to expose myself and say, come on in 60 minutes, or come on in one of these French newspapers, or somebody who's on me the whole time, and and I'll go to him and say, you know, Lance is a tough guy. Some of his behavior is is terrible, but he's a tough guy. Cycling is a tough sport. Mentally tough. He beat cancer." Why go? Why try to go the softball celebrity route now? Now we'll see what Oprah asks. She may have done a tremendous job. I don't know, but I would have just said, "Hey, sixty minutes, have at me for an hour." Well, and, and and I would have had a lot of respect for that. Well, Dan, here's the key. It's you know, Oprah was probably armed with a lot of questions. Did research had people come up with questions. It's not the questions you ask; it's the follow-up follow -up. questions that yeah. you that you ask with Lance because you're looking for a little bit of a. Is there a window open here that I can go there? Because Lance is going to be scripted. Because Lance is going to sit down and they're going to say, uh, she's going to ask you this question and then this question. This is what happens. So Lance already knows. Oprah said, you know what? He was ready to go. He was armed and ready to go. Well, yeah, because he knows what the questions are. It's the follow-up that you get him where, get him off balance a little bit there. I'm just not sure. You know, if Scott Pelley did this, then I Scott Pelley would have been able to do that. Oprah is, you know, th this is... You're going on there for a reason, if you're Lance Armstrong. And there's a reason why you didn't go on 60 Minutes, because it used to be that's where you had your coming out party. You know, that, that's where you had your epiphany. Uh, that's not the case. So he's going to that audience, maybe a softer blow and a wider fan base, and you're going to Housewives as opposed to going on 60 Minutes. Yeah, I don't think that's just necessarily going to work. I, you know, I, that would be my thing. It's just it this guy's controlled everything he's known for just an overwhelming lie. And, you know, the thing with Lance, look, I still, and I still think Lance did more good than harm. I mean, I still think the people he encouraged to fight cancer, the people he encouraged to get early testing, those things are still more important than, you know, how he decided to ride his bike fast across France. I just, I'm still going with that. But He's known as a guy who tried to control everything, and he tried to become not just a 
cyclist, but an American icon. I tweeted out a picture earlier today where he was with John Edwards, of all people, at the Iowa primary, like, supporting his campaign. Like, he was involved in presidential campaigns. He wasn't, you know, say what you want about Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds was never anything but a guy who hit baseball. Uh, He was a, you know, a jerk to many, but he never pretended he wasn't. And you never heard Barry Bonds talk about trying to be anything other than the best hitter. Lance tried to be bigger and more important than everything that, he done, that he's done. And I just, if you're going to try to control this, and again, we'll see what Oprah comes up with. You know, I don't want to prejudge that. But that's where I don't know if this really works. If, he, if, he, if it comes across as staged or not hard enough, I think he's just still going to have to do another interview or not get the desired result. He can't fool people now. He's Dan Wetzel from Yahoo Sports joining us, Dan Patrick Show. And that's what I'm trying to figure out here. You're going to have people who still believe in Lance Armstrong, no matter what is said, even if he admits to doping, that you're still going to have people who are going to be in his corner. And as I've pointed out here, I think he finally stopped being selfish and understood just exactly how important Livestrong is to the United States, to the world. And you know what? Instead of taking this selfish, myopic view, protect that because that's what your legacy is. Not that you've lost the Tour de France's, okay? Now you have to be recognized as a person. You don't have endorsements. You don't have races. You don't have, you know, the the stardom that goes along with that. Now you are the head of, or at least used to be, something that was raising hundreds of millions of dollars. you got to get those people who still want to invest in that company. And there's nothing wrong with admitting you made a mistake. Uh, I just don't know, is it too late to be able to do something like that and salvage this? I, you know, I, I'm not a you know crisis management, but my my idea for him would be to take something very simple um, and not try to make Lindstrom the biggest thing in the world and the most important and the way it was always portrayed. But if he just spent his time on something that you literally cannot fault, like it prom- uh, promoting you know young men to get tested for cancer. You know, it's something that's just compl- you know, who's going to who's against that, right? Yeah. Take on a cost, but a small one, and just try to rebuild that way. Yeah, he can still have tremendous impact because you get, you save one guy, and it's a great thing. You know, let alone how many he could still do. He still has a voice, but everything with Lance is always his ego is just overwhelming, and it's probably the only way you become that kind of an athlete. But it shouldn't be about, can I make Live Strong what it was? Can I make Live Strong anything? And, you know, again, I'm not – my my issues with Lance aren't necessarily the cheating. I got that. I always thought he was doing that. I never believed the concept that in a sport where everybody else is cheating, the one clean guy is yeah. winning seven in a row or whatever. It just didn't make sense. But there's still positives to him. How does he salvage that? But it's got to be a whole different – ball game from it. He's never going to raise the kind of money he did, but he can still do something positive. Dan, good to visit with you. Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, enjoyed the column. Appreciate it, Dan. Take care. All right, Dan Wetzel, Yahoo Sports, wrote a column on the questions Oprah should have asked.